Now if I remember... Uh, I think that... I think that Agatha... Agatha's next. And I think she uses, um... Her Gengar first for some reason. I'm thinking it's Gengar. I, it will evolve the Gengar, probably. So I'm gonna go for Chelsea, because Chelsea has Shadow Ball. And if you and if Gengar uses her, any of her Gengars use the Ghost type move on Chelsea, it won't be effective. So just like if Chelsea uses his Hi Hyper Beam, then it won't affect the Gengar because it's Ghost type, half Ghost type. So yeah, but I don't want, don't plan on using Hyper, Hyper Beam on this on Agus's Gengars because that wouldn't be smart. It wouldn't be effective at all. It doesn't affect them. I am Agatha of the Leaf I hear Oak's taking a lot of interest in you, child. That old doof was once tough and handsome, but now he's. But that was decades ago, and he has a shadow of his former self. He now he just wants to fiddle with his Pokedex. He is wrong. Pokemon are for battle and Grodel. I'll show you what how how a real trainer battles. Okay, let's go. Let's go, Agatha. We got. We got. We got to have a battle. We gotta have a battle. And she sends out, yeah, I was like, Gengar, okay. Level 54. I can't remember how much a Shadow Ball did against her first Gengar. So it's going to be trial and error right now. I'll put in, it puts her in the reds. Jeez. Well, she's going to heal. I'm going to heal. She's going to probably use a Hyper Potion or Full Store. Most likely a Full Store. And I'm going to be using Yellow Food to heal Chelsea's Confusion. So, it's... No one gets to attack us, bro. No one gets to attack and do damage, cause we all we both had the mindset to heal right there. So therefore, it just happened to be like that where we both healed, cause we thought it would be best. I'm gonna go for a Thunderbolt and then I'm gonna use Shatter Ball this time, and this should work, I guess, depending on how much damage it does. Yeah, okay. Let's go use Double Team, of course. I I, I forgot. I didn't even know that this Gengo had double team. Usually, I'm just I usually get one shot it, but I guess this is this is the different playthrough. So right here now, I just learned that this Gengo knew double team as well or as one of its moves, but it's fainted now, so that's good. Let's go for the okay. She's gonna go for the gold bat. Okay. Um. Let's see how much a thunderbolt does. Um, it does half. Okay, good. That's actually good. One more Thunderbolt should faint this Gengar, or not Gengar, Gold Bat. This is, we're dealing with the Gold Bat now, Steven, right? We're dealing with the Gold Bat. Okay, we got this. And it fainted nice. Here we go. Okay, we got this. It's an Arbok, okay. I'm gonna I'm thinking dig. See how much a dig does. So we'll go from there I guess. Let's get a sludge bump, but it missed. Nice, nice. Dig's gonna hit and does about not even a third of its max HP. Okay. Uh let's see how much Thunderbolt does. Maybe we can even paralyze it by chance. Uh, okay. Get a sludge bomb again. That worries me because of, um, you know, poison right there. Right there, poison. Okay, and Chelsea is not looking too good. Yeah, Chelsea just faints by being hurt by the poison. Yeah. So, um, I don't really a psychic type Pokemon or anything. Um,. Let's see, she has poison type fluffs. Um I will go for Alpha I guess. Cause we can use like a strong fire type move, like Fire Blast or something. Let's see how much Fire Blast does. And it hits awesome. And it does oh critical it nice. It faints the Arbok. Okay. That's good. And we got Gengar here. And we can use. Let's see how much a flamethrower does. Okay, it's gonna use hypnosis, but I missed. That's good, that's good. I don't, I don't want Alpha to fall asleep. And. It does, about, it does over half. Okay. But then the 
her second Gengar is her most highest level highest level Pokemon, so it's gonna have a citrus berry. Let's go for the thun let's go for the I almost said Thunderbolt. Let's go for the Fire Blast because it's slightly powerful than th Flamethrower, so this should knock it out because it's Fire Blast. I mean come on. Fire Blast is so powerful. But it doesn't have the it has like eighty five percent accuracy, but that time it hit, so that's good. It hit when it needed to be. It hit when um it was needed, so yeah. Let's go for another flamethrower, just test how much this does on this haunter here. And it does, um, well, it almost faints it, okay. Well, well, you see, let's use flame wheel and then use another fire blast, or not fire blast, but the fire flamethrower. That's the game plan, it should faint this haunter. Well, after a, a flamethrower move use after this. Okay, or if I'm flame we can just be get a critical hit. Awesome. I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. There we go. Nice. Oh my, you're something special, child. Yeah, thanks for the 58,000... 5,800... <laughs> dollars. yeah. I think that's 5,800. You win. I see that what that old doof sees in you now. I have nothing to, else to say. You're along now, child. 